there is a secret benefit to positive thinking not a lot of people talk about maybe even know about and it is that if we start to practice talking to ourselves in a more positive way that's not easy right and and the fact that we will become aware quite quickly that this is kind of difficult this feels strange this is bringing up feelings that i don't particularly like when i start to feel or talk in a better way to myself that's actually really really helpful for us what i typically focus on when i'm maybe working with somebody is of course we want to start talking to ourselves in a much more loving compassionate supportive exciting enthusiastic way i often I take the approach of okay before we we jump into all this positive thinking and, and positive self-talk let's just go under the surface and start to look at some of the things that aren't so nice and get to work questioning them a little bit more deeply and maybe taking some of the power out of those and then the the positive thinking will be much more accessible or authentic but you can also have a practice of just using positive thinking and in a way it can actually be really helpful even because what it's going to do is it's going to it, you're going to say it to yourself like my life is fantastic I really like myself I support myself my future is a bright future all the things I want in my life are going to come to me we talk to ourselves in this way it's going to run into things inside our body and that's going to show us exactly where we need to maybe do a little bit of inquiry into some whatever that block is with that thing so when i tell people is when you're practicing more positive self-talk like for instance i i sometimes get people to do this thing like an issue with procrastination there is it tends to be an awful lot of limiting beliefs or dysfunctional thinking so i get people to kind of rewrite a story for how they what's what is their personal productivity like in terms of how productive they think they are or, or how successful they think they're going to be and i get them to kind of rehearse a more positive story but in practicing a story like that it's going to show us exactly where the blocks to accepting that lie which is a huge huge benefit you see a lot of people with positive thinking make a little bit of a mistake i think and the mistake is okay i'm saying these more positive supporting things to myself now and i feel like i have to believe it it's not really about that it's more about you're not really trying to convince yourself of anything with positive thinking and if you are you can kind of just relax that a little bit what we're trying to do is see how it's accepted by you could say the nervous system which may be holding on to old beliefs that are there to protect us based on past experiences that we have so we're just using it to say okay how much of this can i accept today and where is it running into a block where is the resistance where is the this the thing that rejects that and what does that thing have to say so there is a huge huge benefit in doing inquiry into our negative limiting beliefs and we can also start to more proactively talk positively to ourselves but either are, are great tools because when you use that positive thinking you're going to find the blocks to that right the parts that, that are rejecting it so in terms of your own practice here or little tips you could take away from this i would say do inquiry try and, and identify the negative self-talk that's there write it down all those talk thoughts belong on paper in black and white and then they can really be questioned into how is this serving me how do i know this is true am i completely sure that this is true these types of questions how has it impacted my behavior when i've been believing this considering the precise opposite just like byron katie's work and then maybe if you're feeling okay you experiment with more positive ways of talking to yourself okay trying out a new story story rehearsal which is kind of repeating a story to yourself to see how it feels but in either way i really am a big advocate for trying this and it can be a simple exercise you try it for a few minutes every day just talking to yourself and using the power of your own will your own convictions to choose a narrative or a story that's going to serve you much more and make you feel much more self-empowered 
this is really the definition of to take responsibility for ourselves, I think, is to look at what have I been telling myself? What's the story? How, what, what, what's, what story have I walked around my life with? And what has that been bringing into my life? To really, I mean, I think that's the most fundamental thing there is, is to really start to question and examine and change that story if it's not a story that's been serving us. So a few minutes a day, just sit down and feel into what it feels like to express and tell yourself a different story. And you can't go wrong with that. Even if you're not really fully accepting it, it's gonna show you where you are with that. And it's gonna show you precisely, okay, there's a block to saying this thing. I really, really like myself. Okay, something's happening in my stomach right now. What is this thing saying? It's saying, um, what's there to like? Okay, well, okay, there's nothing to like. Now I can do it, some inquiry in that belief. Okay, there's nothing to like. So once the inquiry is done in that, that dissolves a little bit and try again. I really like myself. See, is it accepted? It's not so much that we're trying to believe it, just will it be accepted by me? And uh, the more we can do that, then we're gonna feel much more empowered. So that's some thoughts on, I guess, the balance between positive uh, thinking and challenging some of the negative stuff. Typically, I would tend to, to come down more on the challenging the negative stuff, but there is definitely a time and a place for proactively choosing a story for yourself that is going to serve you rather than limit you. So play around with that, and uh, I hope that's food for thought, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for joining me here. Bye-bye.